Hello and welcome to the 10th module of Mastering Engineering Drawing, Foundations to Expertise. In this tutorial, we will demonstrate various methods for the construction of an ellipse, a fundamental conic section. Previously, we introduced conic sections and their importance in engineering drawing. We explored their geometric properties and applications, focusing on the ellipse, parabola, and hyperbola. Now, let's apply these concepts to construct an ellipse. In this module, we will construct an ellipse using the given dimensions of the major and minor axes. The key techniques we will cover are 1. Arcs of circles method 2. Concentric circles method 3. Rectangle or oblong method By mastering these methods, you will develop the ability to construct ellipses accurately and confidently. Let's begin. Ellipse Construction Method 1 Let's start with the arcs of circles method to construct the ellipse, having a major axis of 150 mm and a minor axis of 90 mm. First, draw the major axis, AB, and the minor axis, CD, of the specified lengths. Ensure that they bisect each other at right angles at the center point, O. Next, with C as the center and the radius equal to half the length of the major axis, cut arcs on the major axis to locate the two foci, labeled F1 and F2. Then, mark several points at convenient, not necessarily equal, intervals along OF1, for example, three points, and label them accordingly, as shown. Now, using F1 and F2 as centers, and with radii equal to distances, A1, A2, A3, draw arcs to provide guides for plotting the final curve. Similarly, using radii, B1, B2, B3, Draw arcs from F1 and F2 to intersect the previous arcs. Finally, connect all the intersection points with a smooth, continuous curve to complete the required ellipse. This construction method is both practical and reliable, especially when working without advanced drawing instruments. Ellipse Construction Method 2 Let's proceed with the concentric circles method to construct the ellipse, having a major axis of 80 mm and a minor axis of 50 mm. First, draw the major axis, AB, and the minor axis, CD, of the specified lengths. Ensure that they bisect each other at right angles at the center point, O. Next, with O as the center and radii equal to half of the lengths of the major and minor axis, respectively, draw two concentric circles, one larger and one smaller. Now, divide both the larger and smaller circles into an equal number of parts, for example, 16, and mark the points accordingly, as shown. After that, join each point on the larger circle to its opposite point across the major axis. Then, join each point on the smaller circle to its opposite point across the minor axis, Extending the lines to meet the lines from the larger circle. Finally, connect all the intersection points with a smooth, continuous curve to complete the required ellipse. This method is highly visual and clearly illustrates the proportional relationship between the major and minor axes. Ellipse Construction Method 3 
Finally, let's move on to the rectangle or oblong method for constructing an ellipse with a major axis of 130 mm and a minor axis of 82 mm. First, draw the major axis, AB, and the minor axis, CD, of the specified lengths. Ensure that they bisect each other at right angles at the center point, O. Next, use these axes to construct the rectangle, EFGH, where the width and height correspond to the major and minor axes respectively. Now, divide the segment, AO, into equal parts, for example, 4, and mark the points accordingly, as shown. Then, using the same division length, mark corresponding points along, OB. Similarly, divide, AE, into the same number of equal parts, and mark the points accordingly, as shown. Then, using the same division length, mark corresponding points along, AH, BF, and BG. After that, from points, C, and, D, draw connecting lines to the marked points along the sides of the rectangle. Then, from points, C, and, D, draw intersecting lines through the marked points on the major axis, ensuring they cross the previously drawn lines. Finally, connect all the intersection points with a smooth, continuous curve to complete the required ellipse. This method ensures precision by translating axis divisions into coordinate intersections, producing an accurate and symmetrical ellipse without complex calculations. That's all for this module. Up next, we will explore the construction of a parabola, another essential conic section. We will demonstrate methods such as the tangent method, the rectangle method and the offset method to create this curve accurately. Thanks for watching, keep progressing through the series and stay tuned for more.